All right, guys, welcome back. I'm here with Andrew. How you doing today, Andrew? Doing all right, I suppose. And how old are you, sir? Uh, 57. So, you, uh, are you from Tucson? Huh? Are you from Tucson? No. No. From New York. New York, okay. Okay. And how'd you end up uh, in Tucson? How long have you been out here? This is my third time. My third time living out here. I've been here for 24 years this time. But I still have a hard time claiming it. Uh, I've had nothing but sorrows here, man. You what? Uh, can you I've had nothing but one sorrow after another since I've been here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm trying to get the nerve to go back to New York. So I spoke with you a bit ago, and we were actually, you went to the same rehab that I went to. Uh, it was called Unhooked. Um, now it's uh, called something different. How was how was that whole experience for you? Oh, yeah, they fucking screwed me around, man. I uh, couldn't believe it myself, man. How they were acting for me. I can't hear you, bro. So I, I couldn't believe how they were acting towards me, man. Yeah. They weren't treating you right? No, not at all. And and you were there for four months. Did they, did you get kicked out or how, how did that, what, or your time was just up and it was time to leave? Time is up and it was about to leave. No, I fucking, I asked for an extra month. And they helped my brother in my graduation without me, which was unusual. Man. They never did that to anybody else. Why, I don't know. Tried to, there was this guy that was an artist, right? And he uh, thought he was an artist anyway. Right? <laughs> uh, he was going to do a big mural in the drug program there. And that was going to be his big break to fucking payment, you know. <laughs> the guy had no artistic ability at all. Okay? He, he drew uh, or he painted the Virgin Mary. It looked like she was chewing tobacco. But she had wings. And the halo. That's a way worse picture of Virgin Mary. Yeah. You know what I mean? She doesn't have wings, man. She's not an angel. You know? He's trying to tell me, I had art is in the eye of the beholder. Right? I said, yeah, you're insane, dude. <laughs> you know? Anyway, they uh, called me a liar, and I threatened them. I never threatened him. And there was one of the uh, staff there that was a witness of mine. Uh, he, he said that uh, he never heard no swearing, no threatening, nothing was coming out of him. He, and he's new over there, that's why they're giving him that treatment, you know. I don't know. So, what led to uh, rehab? Like what? What's? Oh, um, what, I was getting, getting tired of shit, man. People were dying around me, and uh, just wasn't fun anymore, man. You know? Uh, what's been your your drug of choice or drink of choice? A little bit of everything, man. Because that fucking uh, my mother died, man. My whole family died, you know, and. and uh, I'm just not feeling that much anymore, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you told me you uh, you lost everybody, bro, and then... Yeah. So freaking sorry about that, dog. Like... It's hard to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you lost all hope? Sometimes. And I gotta remember, you know what? Longest stay so it's over. My worst day he includes sober. Better than my best day high. You know what I, mean? I can barely hear you, bro. Said, uh, How long has it been since since they passed? 
10 years. Six years? 10. A year? 10 years. 10 years, okay. Sorry, yeah, this seems just... like it was just yesterday, man. So what have you been doing since, within these two weeks, since you left the treatment center? I went back to the Cornerstone uh, Detox, right? Because, uh, well, I don't know what the area is. What do expect to do? Want, uh, somebody wipe down over there? Were they helping you out there? Huh? Were they helping you at Cornerstone? Yeah, a little bit. But um, they ended up doing exactly what I said they were going to do. Uh, they were going to release you nowhere to go. And they did. I don't think I deserved that treatment, man. You know, I mean, I just did four months out of my life at this drug program, and I'm still clean this over. I'm really such a marijuana. I've got a card for that. Yeah. Okay. Do you have an idea of what you're going to do next? Not quite yet. I'm trying to get in the summer living community. If I don't fuck up first. Yeah. You know, the odds are against me being out here, you know? That'd be a good move, man. So beloved. Well... The thing about it is, I can get a Section 8 housing, you know? You got housing before? Huh? You said you got housing before? No. Oh, okay. No. You're waiting on housing? Yeah. Yeah. One of the guys I interviewed said that at the downtown library on Thursday, there's a two-hour class you could take. And after that, they'll give you a housing voucher. Really? Thursday, downtown library, one thirty. I don't know anything about the class. I don't know much about that, but he sounded pretty serious about it. He sounded happy about it. Um, and that that's an option for you, bro. So, yeah. I mean, that, that sounds like a definite lifesaver right there. You know, if the sober living thing doesn't work out. But I think in the meantime, you definitely call some sober livings or go to corner, Cornerstone, any any place, even the spot you were at, Via Maria, see if they could make some calls for you or help you. You know. Um, and you can always call me too, bro. So try and get you, you know, some help, bro. We, we all... What time is it? 11.25. So as far as today, like, what would you do all day? What I do all day? Yeah. I'm trying to make it across town to get over here and see if I got my phone. I'd be Maria. Okay. And have you been staying like at a park, out, like in the area, or you just crash out wherever? I haven't had the misfortune of staying outside yet. Well, I could tell you, you, um, you're real stressed out, bro. And wait till this goes live. Huh? If there's anything I can do for you, man, just just, just let me know. It's, uh, you know, I've been through Co Kodak, La Frontera, all those spots. Um, are you a member with any of those? Mm -hmm. Kodak or Cope? Or I was. You were? Yeah. Kodak for over 20 years. Okay. Then my family started dying off, and I really needed them. They weren't there for me. All they ever did in 20 years was just give me pills. They didn't try to help me with nothing, man. And I'm not my. I know I got rights. No. Did you feel safe at uh, Via Maria? Yeah, I did. You liked it? That was definitely the best rehab I was ever at.
do you think they, they cared that you left? They're the ones who kicked me out. Yeah. Because I was talking about that dude's art, you know? Yeah. Remember I was talking about that. thought he was an artist all of a sudden? Yeah. And he drew this preposterous picture of Virgin Mary, you know? Yeah. Anyway. When you heard all that, man, they should you know, turn it down and shit. So, is there two more questions? Is there anything you want people to know about addiction or homelessness? Yeah, don't do it. Say no. Say no. Simple as it sounds, just say no. Best thing you could ever do. Do you have any regrets in life? You. I was thinking about that the other day if I if I have any but of course there's things I wish I would have done different but at the end of the day it's all wasted energy for me you know I could think about that all day I'll get nothing done it'll just set me off the path right just try and learn from all the crap I did because all we have control over is today, right now. And uh, I know things will, will, will get better for you, Doug. Like, it just takes a little effort, you know? A little bit of effort. Yeah. A little bit of effort. We all need a little kick in the butt every now and then. Maybe that's what this is, you know? A little, uh, little reminder, a little reality check. I'm not telling you what to do. It's just like... Like, you know your reality. You know the reality of your situation. And uh, you have both legs, both arms. And a loud bus next to us. And you have no family at all. Any friends? No. You have me, bro. I just met you. But I know the struggle of addiction. Have you uh, used since you got out or drank? No. See, that's great, bro. That's amazing. Bro. I never did that. I always had my mind made up. Yeah. You know, I get there trying to be the best rehabby possible. <laughs> and then when I get out, boom, pick up that phone. Mm. So that's, that's good, bro. You have that going for you. One of the best relapses, I'm sorry, one of the worst relapses I've ever had is relapsing like with a head full of recovery. Because I didn't use any coping mechanisms. I didn't use anything I learned. And uh, so I'm, I'm really happy to hear you didn't take a step back, you know? Yeah. Well, no, the way they were, the way they were trying to make it look like is. I was a big troublemaker the whole time I was there and stuff. You know what? I never got one, not one write-up. Not one write-up. They're trying to say I was a problem. One incident right after another. I said, you, got, you can't get that. You're trying to pull that out of nothing, man. Right? You can't get that. Never was I ever charged for that. For any of that. You know what I mean? You're trying to fucking put some shit on me that it ain't even right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sounds like they could have handled that differently. Because when I was there, there was a couple guys I almost got in a fight, you know. And staff set them aside. They were able to talk it out. They shook hands after. And that was that. You know, they had to keep them away for a few days. But it sounds like things could have been done differently. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to say? I wouldn't wish this life on my worst enemy. I don't really have any enemies, though. I hope my story can be an inspiration. I can hear you. I'm sorry. I didn't go too in-depth with it, but you know what? I hope it could help somebody. 
every story I put out helps people, bro. I still need to hear these stories. And uh, so I really appreciate your time, bro. Um, you know, you got, you still have clothes. You're still clean. Is this your whole life right here? Pretty much. What's that? Pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you got. At the end of the day, bro, you're clean, right? You still have your wits about you. You're a sharp guy. It's not over, bro. It sounds like within these two weeks, you, you kind of like strategize the game plan. So that's good, right? You kind of have an idea where, what you can do next. Um, and you have my card. So if you ever, you know, just need... Like further assistance, man. Need me to call some spots or, or whatever, bro. Just just give me a call after you get your phone. You know what I mean? So, all right. Well, thank you for your story.